Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to show you how to get this eyebrow on both of them. I know it looks a little silly. <laughs> I had to have like one already done so I could show you a few things. Um, and so yeah, I mean as you can tell, I don't have really any eyebrows to begin with and I need all the help that I can get in that department. So um, I'm going to show you what I do um, personally and um, just so you know I don't have all of the unique products yet so obviously I can't use them in this video but I will tell you all of the products that you can purchase from unique um, in order to achieve the same result as what I do um, and we're going to go through like a little a couple other things like helpful tips and stuff like that that you can do um, just to sort of figure out what's best for your face and eyebrow and all that good stuff. Um, but ultimately the biggest thing is like you do you. Like whatever you like, um, you should do that because it's your face. You gotta wear it. You gotta look at it. It's you. So um, that's the most important thing. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with like measuring. Um, and because everybody's face shape is different, um, it's important to know that your eyebrow shapes are going to be different and your eyebrows actually like frame your face so knowing like where the inside um tip ends the outside tip ends and the arch should be um are all really important so i'll show you sort of like a really easy trick to do um in order to figure this out so what you're going to do is you're going to take a brush or really anything that's long and hard Okay, um, and you're gonna start at your nose. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, put it on the side, and um, let's see if I can figure this out. I am not like a video genius recorder here, so this is gonna be a little weird for me. Let me get my mirror. Um, sorry, hold on. Um, okay, so, okay. You're going to take your brush and you're going to sort of put it um, at the base, like at the, at the edge of your nose and you're going to want to go directly up. And this is going to show you where your inside end should end. Um, it should not really go past this point. Um, I mean, if you want it to by all means go right ahead um but as like a basic rule of thumb not so much um and then for i mean for me it's going counterclockwise but for y'all it's going clockwise um you're gonna want to go sort of towards like the middle of your eyeball um and then this is where like the tip of your arch should be um, you don't want to move the brush away from your nose. Like, as you notice, like, that stayed the same. The only thing that moved was, like, the end of the brush. Um, so that is where your arch is going to be. And then you're going to move it even more. And it's going to, you want it to line up with, like, the corner of your eyeball. Um, and that is where you're at the end of your um, outer eyebrow. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> um, is going to end. Um, you don't really want it to go really much further than that um, because you're going to look a little bit, um, you know, very wide-eyed and ready to go. I mean, if you want to look that way, then by all means, go right ahead. Um, but just as a basic rule of thumb, that's how you do your measuring of your eyebrows. Um, Technically, you really should not be plucking your own eyebrows um, unless you have like a cosmetology degree. It's like a really big no-no. Um, however, I don't ever follow that rule. <laughs> um, I always do my own eyebrows and I think I've had them waxed like maybe three times in my entire life. But that's also because I really truly do don't have any eyebrows so I don't it's not that big of a deal for me as long as I can maintain a shape then that's fine um and I'll show you a little trick later on to hide um eyebrow hairs that you know haven't really been 
plucked recently or whatever. So, um, <clears throat> also just hang in there with me. I'm not feeling super great today. I don't have any other makeup on. I'm sorry. I kind of look like death. Um, okay. To get started, I'm going to use, I always use a pencil first and I do both of my eyebrows penciled first before I start on anything else. So, um, you can use the Moodstruck Precision Brow Liner. Um, and you always want to do like usually a shade like a shade darker than your hair color um, whether it be like um, colored or natural whatever whatever your hair color is you want to use a shade that's usually a shade darker than your hair color um, or try to match it as much as possible but that's usually impossible to do so um, just try to do that and um, what I do is I start with the um, brow pencil and I start at the very where like the very like first hairs of my actual natural brow start and I just sort of make a line on the bottom using short light strokes just to sort of get like a point of reference. I know it sounds weird, but sort of do that. Um, and it's okay if like the bottom, you kind of want the bottom to be a little bit darker. Um, it adds dimension, 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 that's all. Um, and then, so as you can see, I sort of have that going on. And then what you're gonna wanna do from there is you're gonna wanna start um, from that line, making short, but full um, soft strokes throughout the hairs. Um, you want to make sure that you sort of get all the little sparse areas. And I tend to fill in the areas that have natural hair before I start getting creative um so let's see yeah you want to do that and it's really truly just like short light strokes like I am not heavy-handed with this at all because you don't want a lot of this product in your eyebrows because we're gonna put some other stuff in there and if you um have a whole lot of pencil in there it starts to look um, really cakey and not natural. Um, okay, so then what I do is the fun part. So as you can see, I've drawn in this top part um, where the natural hair is pretty much completely. Um, and then I start to uh, sort of connect the lines here um, very lightly. I begin to draw like the top part of this inner corner and it's okay if the pencil part is not perfect right now because we'll go back and fix that um, and you want to just you want to do full complete light strokes you don't want to do like little stabbing motions or like hard or anything like that you want to do like very light full complete strokes all the way through um, Even on just like if it's just your skin, if you have no hair there. Um, sorry, my contacts are just like crazy right now. I don't really know what's going on. I think because it's so humid that like the humidity is like in the air and like they'll literally like, they just want to pop out of my eyeball. Um, so if you're not super comfortable doing this like freehand, um, for a while, which is totally fine because it's taken me years and years and years to get this comfortable doing my brows free-handedly. Um, that trick that I showed you measuring, um, you can take your brow or your brush and you can um, do the tricks that I showed you with the angles and actually like make like little marks to where like that should be on your brow. So you can make one like at the inner and then your arch and then your outer Corner, so that way you can like sort of connect the dots all the way around um, and get like a full complete brow. 
Um, okay, so we're going to continue this a little bit. And again, it's okay if it, like, your pencil is not perfect or, you know, it's, like, kind of, like, a little bit sparse in some areas. But gener generally, you want the pencil to look somewhat even throughout the entirety of your brow. Um, okay, so moving on to the arch. We're going to be doing the same thing, light full strokes. Um, and then when you get down to the tail, I just draw. This is a little bit heavier part. Like I use a little heavier, heavier stroke um, for this part because there's usually, I have more hair right here. So not as much product gets through there. And um, you want the tail to be a little bit darker anyways because, again, it adds dimension and it doesn't make your brow look as um, drawn on, I guess. Okay. So then what I do is after I feel like I've done a pretty good job with the pencil, um, I'll take like a step back and just sort of make sure that like both brows somewhat le like they look even um, and if they don't I'll go back in and add like I'm gonna add a little bit more in the front here um, just to give it a little bit more oomph and then I also will like move my head like a bird <laughs> and just sort of see if there's like any spots that are not as dark as others because, you know, you'll move your head throughout the day and you want it to look even. Um, or as even as possible. And, you know. It's not going to be perfect, and that's fine, too. Okay. So after that, I'll take the, a spoolie. My pencil has one on it. And I'll just lightly brush through the brow, just sort of getting any excess product off, um, and just making sure that the product is distributed evenly. And then um, I usually use powder um, to with, on my brows. Now... I know that um, Unique doesn't really have a brow powder specifically, um, but um, they do have that Moodstruck Precision Brow Gel, which is awesome, and you can use that in place of powder, and actually it could be better because it tames like the, the brow hairs that are like crazy and unruly, um, but also you can use like matte eyeshadow or matte bronzer or matte like contour or anything that's pigmented and matte you can use it you go for it do it do it up put it in there just work it um so i'm gonna just use like regular brow powder um and i i like to use a combination of like two colors because I think if you use, well actually a total, I use a combination of three colors, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, usually, you know, like your hair is not like one color. So um, I use two different colors, one lighter, one darker um, for my brow powder. And um, what I do is I will start sort of right by the arch on the bottom. And I'll just start working that through. Um, oh, and this is a uh, just like a regular, I think it's a, actually an eyeshadow brush. Um, but as like you can tell, it's like, it has like a really weird tip. It came that way. But it, it's like perfect for my brows, actually. Um, and I found that an eyeshadow brush works a lot better for your eyebrows because it has more... Um, it has more bristles, so it works the product through your brows a lot better, making it look a lot more natural and even, um, and not so, like, packed in there, you know? Um, okay, so, going back. I start with a little bit 
of product of powder and I always start at the bottom and work my way up um, and then you know you can go back over it if you want it to be darker or whatever but you can't really make it lighter once you've started so starting with a little bit and working your way up to darker is much better than the alternative so as you can see the powder is already making it a lot bigger difference than just the pencil and the other reason why it's really important to start with a pencil and then put either powder or a gel on top of it is because it sets that pencil so it won't rub off um, or it won't rub off as easily um, and then I'll work my way down the bottom and then just start kind of flicking it up into the hair like following the way that the hair grows Um, again, always like putting like the darker, like heavier stroke at the bottom. Um, you kind of just want to mimic the way that the hair grows and the hair grows sort of from the bottom of your eyebrow. So, and then I, I stop, I'll stop, um, sort of right where my natural hairs grow first. I, like, I'll leave that for a second. Um, and then we'll go to the arch. Like so. And just do like a light little deal up here. working that powder all the way through um, and then some of the powder will get outside of where you put pencil and you can just sort of like wipe that off with your finger or whatever um, and then what I'll do is that lighter color that I mix with the darker color for my full brow I'll usually take um, just like a little bit of that and go over where I put that pencil on the skin Um, doing really soft, really soft strokes upwards. Starting at the bottom, soft strokes upwards with my brush. And then follow through with the rest of the brow so it looks complete. Like so. Um, and then what I do at this point is I sort of take a step back from the mirror. And I'll look and just sort of see what things are looking like. And this arch is a little bit crazy. So we're going to just sort of fix that. Like so. Um, and remember, your brows are sisters, not twins. Um, so they're not going to be perfect. And let's see. Then I'm going to take, I usually take a darker powder. If you use the Moodstruck gel, you can use, um, you can do like a run through with the spoolie normally, like where I started um, throughout the entire brow. And then light in the front. And then um, do like two coats where I'm going to put darker powder. Like this is like the third darkest powder that I use. Um, right like on the arch and the end the outer tail I don't know what they're called I don't even know if they're called tails um, just like that and you're gonna want to sort of again take a little bit of that and just complete it all the way through so it doesn't look like you know different colors in your eyebrow you'll want to blend blending is your friend blending 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 okay um and then you know just sort of wipe off excess powder the fallout that's happened from your brush or whatever um, and fix any little things that you want to fix real quick. 
Um, okay, so from here, this one's crazy, man. Y'all, it takes me forever to do my brows in the morning because I, they don't cooperate usually with me. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, so from here, what you're gonna do is, um, or what I usually do, is I will take some concealer, and um, you can use the, the Moodstruck Mineral Concealer from Unique. Um, you only need like a tiny little bit too. And I just use um, like, just like a regular, like a tiny little concealer brush, you know? And I'll put it just like on the tip, but work it through the brush. So it's like even, and you don't have a ton on there because you don't want a ton on there. You just want a little bit, just a little bit. And what you're gonna do then is, let's see if I can get a little bit closer because this is, this is a big thing. Um. You're gonna want to make like a really light line and then go ahead and go crazy under the arch. So you kind of want to just put it everywhere that um, there's skin up until the hair of the brow. And this is going to make the underside of the brow look a lot more chiseled. It's also going to make you look a lot more awake. And it's going to make you actually have like an instant facelift. Um, and I like just blend. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. Um, I tend to bring it like all the way down onto my brow bone. And then um, up here where you do that little line... You're gonna blend that. And for this, I like raise my brows so like I'm surprised. Um, I need a little bit more. And then for like the inner edge right here, I usually bring it up a little bit just to sort of give me that like round brow shape, you know? Clean it up a little bit. So it's not like square brow craziness. Um, and bring it down. Blend, blend. Blending is your friend. Really for everything in makeup, blending is your friend. And then to blend it even more, um, I'll take my finger and just lightly rub it into the skin. Um, and again, you really don't want a lot of concealer for this. You just want a little bit. Of, you just want enough to make a difference. Like, you don't want a lot at all. Um, and you want to make sure that you get it blended well all the way down. You don't want lines, lines are not good. Up, and then there you have it. Um, and then usually after that I'll take like a little bit of, if I don't mix like highlighting stuff within my concealer to put underneath my brow bone, which I'll usually do because I it's just a quicker step, um, I will take a little bit of like shimmer, shadow or highlighting shimmer and just sort of like place it on the brow. This also allows for the concealer that you just put under there to set so it won't move um, and it highlights that brow bone so you look like it. you have an even like better face look or facelift face look 
I mean, you could have a better facelift too, I guess, but whatever, you know. So yeah, bam, bam. Um, and then usually this brow is like thicker than the other one, but you know, whatever. Sisters not twins. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take that same brush that I use to like measure everything and just sort of like place it in like the center of my brows. And usually the the this part, like the the inside of my my eyebrows don't match because my eyebrows my eyes are kind of different heights. But the ends, you kind of want the ends to be in the exact same place. You don't want one that's longer than the other. And as you can see, um sort of hard to t you can't really tell but they they end pretty much at the same exact spot um you really don't want one that's that's um one tail longer than the other that would not be good um okay so this is my brow look um that's usually all I do I know it sounds like a lot and it's it can be kind of crazy some days that are better than others really um but that is what I do those are my tricks um let's see is there anything else I'm forgetting no I don't think so um, usually when I do like my full face of makeup, like I'll set it with a makeup setting spray. Um, you can usually use any of them, um, which will help keep the brows where they are, um, for a lot longer. So if that's a concern of yours, like it is mine, because I have to draw in a lot of my brows, then there you go. Um, but if not, then you're usually good to go. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Bye.